Hello and welcome back to the Harsh West. This is uh, probably the final uh, the final fight of uh, the second uh, scenario. We are at the crater and Solomon is ready to go. Um, only one last little bit because I don't know if that yields a bonus. I think we've got another blueprint or two. So Solomon invents the dexterity elixir and he's again out of blueprints. That's fine. We almost maximized all of our inventions. So let's give it a go without further ado. We're moving inside of the crater. Inside the crater he found a letter with a familiar seal on it. Sol uh, Solomon realized he had uh, to excavate the meteor as soon as possible. The drilling would take days. He instructed the Picotans to prepare uh, defenses around his operations and the persons begin to construct uh, a temporary fort. Solomon uh, realized he would be busy drilling and unable to aid his protector in, in the upcoming battle. Well, that's too bad, because I think it's going to be an interesting battle. Let's proceed to combat. We have uh, done the armor load out before, so let's jump right into the battle. As Delir drilled for the meteor, Trumercliff's last letter reverberated in his mind. Trumercliff thought his death was actually a rebirth through the meteor's power. Obviously, he had been insane, but what had he been trying to communicate? One thing was clear. Trumercliff had renounced his old mind and embraced genius. The Pinkertons shouted. They spotted a horde of armed madmen, Turner's minions. Insane or not, Trumercliff had known what must be done. Now, it was Delir's turn. So this is our drilling operation. Apparently we only have three Petersons uh, this fight. At least one of the Pinkerton must survive. Wait until the drilling is complete. Kill Sheriff Turner optionally. And we might Want to take a nice little position over here. I enjoy the idea of our sniper actually taking high ground up here as well. Because it feels that he then also can take a couple of ricochet shots. And last but not least, I'm not sure we're probably going to be ambushed from that side as well. So, might as well be a good idea to move over and actually pro protect that flank. So yeah, there could be, technically someone could move down to here and flank us. Not sure how, how realistic that's going to happen. Probably we're going to kill them uh, before that is going to happen. Okay. So all of them are standing in um, in cover. There are probably two more right around the corner. I'm going to wait until they move up because currently we wouldn't hit them with a ricochet shot. But if we were to just take a normal shot, for some of them that would be three damage. If we were to take a golden bullet, for some of them that would be seven damage. And this here is probably even worth it because this guy has seven hit points and killing him right off the bat. Just reduces... Um, 
so much damage, uh, so much potential hit points that we need to bring down. Um, I'm thinking about like this gun. Unfortunately, no, the pistol has a better range modifier, so we're looking at only one damage in full cover, but it's better than nothing. All right, let's see what the enemy is coming up with. There is a nine hit point enemy. And someone... St oh, wow, okay, we're being flanked from here. We definitely need to take care about this. Oh gosh, they are aggressively moving in. Okay, in such a situation, uh, let's always try to focus on the main priorities first, shall we? So, we don't want to be, um, we don't want to be flanked. This guy here is already flanking us, this guy will flank us next turn. So, standing here is a bad idea because we're exposing ourselves to whatever low life is coming down that way. This guy will probably have uh, the the time to move in, so we need to really deal with him by maybe falling back and shooting from here. Uh, for the time being, this is a good position. Yeah, maybe not so good. Let's move to here and hope that these barricades are still covering a lot of um, a lot of the the way. Um, we're taking on this guy first. Seventy-two percent. There we go. It's one down. Moving to here gives us cover from both sides. Oh gosh, this guy has a lot of uh, luck. We need to kill this punk here first. Again, let's take priorities. Yeah, we are too exposed up there. We need to get down, like, now. So let's start with the healing elixir. And I would like to propose to move to here. We soon have our uh, golden bullet uh, back up. We're going to move down here. That's even a better covered spot.
They are going to flank us if we find no way around it. Got ourselves a nice little luck boost here, which means we're di more difficult to hit. And these guys seem to have a lot of luck. I mean, how far is uh, this cone? Okay, so. We are going to be flanked with uh, with a C person anyways, like they will move in. So might as well move to here. Uh, the, wait a second. Can we hit both of them? No, he's just barely out of range. It will mean that we are going to take some uh, fire with um, C person. Oh, and maybe we're going to take a shotgun shot over there. Hmm. If we could close some of the doors, I would be inclined to go here, take a shotgun shot, because that's just a very, a very profitable shot. Let's get the flanking. Meanwhile, we're moving to here. We're improving movement. So from now on, we can move uh, to these guys and actually kill them. If we were to move here, we would have a wonderful flank, but unfortunately we'd be flanked from over here. We can try to kill the sheriff, but not quite yet. And we need to heal uh, one of our persons up there. He's taking a severe beating. Improves cost at the improves um, movement at the cost of maximum HP. That's exactly what we do not need at the moment. I 
I wish we could just go here and just shotgun into them. I'm pretty sure we will take a shot though. And unfortunately you can't just put waypoint. at least I haven't seen it yet, that you can put waypoints in uh, like you did it with XCOM to first move here and then kind of here. This here is a risky maneuver. I don't want to do it. it the shotgun itself is just really, really good with its um, with its cone shot. Moving here again will trigger. Moving to here will leave us in the open. Gosh, that's a really good position here. Moving to here would leave us in the open. I forgot that we were shadow cloaked. So these two guys, by the way, will probably come out next. Oh gosh, the Sheriff deals a lot of damage. Oh boy. So I guess it's about time to maybe withdraw just a little bit. We have three more turns left. And we're taking shots left and right. We still take some shots, but overall we're being in full cover means we're just taking way less damage. Well, it doesn't mean that we cannot die with one hit point. It's always a chance. So first and foremost, Let's move our sniper further to the back. Still got the golden bullet and a couple of shots that we can do. What's a great target for the golden bullet?
I mean, for now, we're killing a lot of uh, them. But I'm not sure which target we would want to take with a golden bullet. Um, Gosh. There's this guy standing in the open, which would be very helpful to hit. And then there is Turner. Uh, killing Sheriff Turner definitely would be helpful. So I would say let's go for Turner. Because he deals a lot of damage against targets in, um, he deals a lot of damage against targets in cover. Like this here would have been probably two damage. Now that he's crippled, I don't know if that means that he has a bleeding effect. I'm not sure. The answer is yes. Um, it indeed means that um, your crippling means there is a bleeding effect. I like it. So we're putting ourselves like way back here. Damn. So, I was wondering... That shot wouldn't hit anyone. All of them are in solid cover. Yeah, we can take a we can still take a shot. I mean It's just a shame because they aren't full cover. Hopefully he will be the center target because we're running out of luck on a person. He only has two more hit points left, which really is, is a shame. Correct that he has one hit point left. And his luck is rapidly declining. <laughs> so very soon he's going to die. Delir emerged from the crater, the meteor tucked under his coat. Oh, it's a safe, a safe zone. The only means of escape. Mr. Persons swore he would get Delir out alive. Well, it's easy to get into that safe zone. A 
Let's move to here. And I think we got him flanked. Nice. The only question is we're probably not dealing enough damage. That's, pro uh, that's an issue. Try this shot again. Okay, killed him right away. And there we go. Damn, we have a huge body count, but unfortunately they are still overrunning us. Okay, we now need to definitely get him back. He is, I think, out of luck and he will die. Wow, and they are still coming. It's just an improvement for aim. God damn it. We have not enough luck. Let's first of all get Solomon out here. Well, we haven't lost a single person then. Apparently that's all it took, getting Solomon out there. Solomon fled in his, state, uh, in his steam carriage. He knew uh, Trumercliff could uh, arrive at the laboratory anytime. The meteor was his obsession, the source of his genius as far as he was concerned. For Solomon, however, it was only uh, the only way to cure the madness. He would need to invent a special device to use the meteor in case things turn ugly. Solomon created several diesel bombs using the dust from the meteor drilling site. Solomon could feel waves of insanity emanating from the meteor, but somehow he felt much more intelligent than usual. Did uh, madness enhance brilliance? Thumocliff has thought so at last. Solomon locked the meteor away in a cage of steel and glass. So let's go to the workshop. And we have, by the way, created a medical pack, which I like to see what exactly it does. And uh, just looking from uh, from what worked well in uh, uh, judging from what worked well in the combat the mandrake route with the immediate luck boost was actually quite good so we might want to use it as well um, medical bag let's take a couple of these Mandrake power, a portion of uh, powdered ingredients of a dubious origin, restore luck over time. I think that's also a good idea because that will allow us to regain um, uh, to regain some more uh, energy, especially for the sniper. Petrification bolt deals minor damage and liberates enemy movement. And there is a revealer. A foul-smelling mixture of toxic chemicals, improved sight at the cost of maximum HP. I think we need a revealer to click one of the options here. So yeah, that makes sense. Let's pay the man. We're almost out of uh, funds. Well, that's okay. 
So clicking at the workshop, I think with the revealer, Solomon creates a blueprint from Tuma Cliff's notes using the revealer. Thank you. Can we do that again? That would be awesome. And it would be so much uh, more easy than actually buying all of that, uh, that stuff. Wow. Okay. I should have used Revealer much earlier. We quite literally just got three um, uh, three blueprints here. Got another Red Joker and got another King. Shoot at shoot at all enemies in sight in sequence. Um, well, I think we got a winner here. Plus fifteen aim for four kings. By the way, what do you get for five kings? Two damage. Okay, do we want 15 aim or 2 damage? I think we want the 2 damage. Oh, wow, that's brutal. So we already got pretty decent aim. So this guy is not only invisible, but he can also shoot at every single target uh, in inside. Even if it requires 90 luck, that's a very, very good ability. And we got ourselves the Nine of Hearts. Which is just a straight plus one hit point bonus. Okay, let's equip everyone because I think there's yet another fight coming up. I like the weapon selection. That was good. And it was the first time that we really needed to also use some of uh, the items. Medical bag and mandrake powder. Yes, please. Okay, here we go, guys. Solomon remained uh, in Trumer Cliff's old laboratory. He had truly made his uh, to his own now, um, and we can finish chemistry. Got our healing elixir and the vitality elixir plus the gas bomb. We are now fully researched, which means there's only one thing left, uh, which is to research the meteor and do the final shootout mission. And that's what we're going to do in the next session. Thank you so much for watching uh, this episode of Hard West. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below that signals YouTube you like the content. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.